welcome to Lura Budi blog. So today we are going to see how an obstacle detection and avoidance robot, an autonomous robot which can detect and avoid obstacles on its own is made and we will also give a good review of an obstacle avoidance and detection sensors okay using infrared sensors okay so first of all let's say you have your robot here and you have two wheels for your robot here and you have an obstacle over here so uh, or uh, obstacle on either of the sides and uh, so how do you detect these obstacles okay as you may have into our website neurobody.com you might have to go through uh, the video tutorial series that we have already done on line followers robot series to actually understand the algorithm writing and designing uh, using uh, basic infrared uh, sensors for it so you might have to uh, if you wish so please visit the uh, links given in the uh, video okay so uh, let's see how an obstacle avoidance robot works so in a basic obstacle avoidance robot let's consider three sensors okay this is sensor number one let's call it as a sensor number two on the left hand which points to the left hand side uh, let's call it l r okay we have three sensors pointing one on the forward direction one on the left side one on the right side in your robot okay so so that you know uh, you know uh, so that you will be able to differ uh, differently evaluate all the different types of obstacle scenarios that you will get okay for the obstacle uh, sensing and avoidance we will use the electric electronic hardware that we will be using is the obstacle avoidance and detection sensor like these ones these are in okay i will be explaining you how these sensors work first okay so uh, this is in the video of uh, how uh, uh, infrared transmitter and uh, receiver works if not please check out the link given below uh, and uh, I'm gonna just give a block diagram of how this thing works and how this is different from the line sensors the line infrared line sensors okay infrared line sensors are used for a line follower robot how this is different from this okay in the infrared line sensor because that the line sensor will be pointing towards the ground uh, watching for line the kind of distance that it needs uh, or the capacity or the reliability is just for two centimeters long okay but due to this is a because that this is a obstacle detection sensor it should have a higher range right so uh, the sensor that i'm holding right now is a custom design sensor by us so this will give a detection range of about 20 centimeters you won't even believe it this is just an infrared sensor and it will give a range of 20 centimeters there is no need of ultrasonic you know sound sensor to detect objects also okay so uh, this sensor will have a tx that is a transmitter led and a rx this a receiver or uh, infrared led this uh, these two will be controlled using a triple five timer ic okay what uh, this will do is the basic idea of getting the range of this sensors uh, to a maximum extent is uh, we will send a series of pulses out from the TX at a particular frequency using the triple five timer okay and we will see if an object, uh, object or obstacle is present then the infrared rays will hit it and back okay the pulses will reflect back to the receiver now uh, the idea behind cancelling out all the other noise or the ambient noise is that we will send it in a certain frequency f okay now what this receiver will do is it will receive actually receive all the ambient frequencies and uh, uh, infrared frequencies also but this will be connected to the triple five ic as well and a comparator etc such that the output is taken as one that is an obstacle is said to be detected only if this rx receives uh, the same frequency of pulses f which will be uh, compared with the triple five ic here so if we get a reflection of same frequency of pulses then we say that output is one or else we will just say that it is absolutely noise and we don't have any sen obstacle sensor the obstacle in our path okay so this is the actual uh, uh, functionality of this uh, ir obstacle uh, detection sensor which is a very reliable one which gives you a higher range okay 
so let's see a practical application of this in our normal basic uh, obstacle uh, detection and avoidance robot let's say my hand is a robot and this is the forward direction this is the forward direction and i have kept a sensor here and this is the right and this is the left sensor okay so when i have my robot like this let's say my robot is moving like this and uh, i have a sense uh, obstacle in the front part of the robot okay so uh, my uh, front obstacle detector will detect it and uh, send it uh, signal to the cpu that is a uh, controlling unit etc and then we will take logical decisions based on this values that we will get uh, let's say we have obstacle on the right hand side and the front side as well so uh, is on this condition we will have to take a left side uh, decision right such that our robot uh, will decide to go on the left side because we have obstacle both on the right side and the frontal side so this is how obstacle uh, infrared optic obstacle sensors are used in a basic obstacle sensing and avoidance robot so in our next video we will be seeing how this theory or the idea of a uh, basic obstacle avoidance robot is put into practice and in the next video we will be actually designing an algorithm just like before like in our line follower robot for logic gates we are going to design an algorithm using uh, input and output variable functions and k map theory to build a basic and a simple logical logic gate based logic gate based obstacle avoidance robot okay so please check out the next video to complete your tutorial series until then see ya